Welcome to Tar Heel Talks. Today I am with ACC Player of the Week and Carolina women's tennis standout, Sarah Davitilla. Happy to have you, Sarah. Thanks so much for having me. Your team is 17-0 and so far this season. What has contributed to your team's elite performance so far? Well, I think we have a really deep team this year. Uh, 13 girls, it's the largest team I've been on in my time here at Carolina. And everyone's just a very hard worker. Um, we're all very competitive and we have a lot of just a lot, a lot of talent on this team. Um, so I'm, I think everyone um, does their part and we all compete really hard and we all are going out and doing the extra things. And that has given us a lot of success so far this year. As I mentioned, you are the ACC player of the week. Once again, what have been some of your, your individual goals for this season? Um, since it's my last season here at Carolina, I've just been trying to improve on as much as I can really just going out, putting in the work and I'm playing as much tennis as I think I ever have. And I'm just really happy, really enjoying it, really having a lot of fun, um, going out there improving. And that's really showing, I think in my game and, um, in my matches this season. This year's squad has already won an indoor national championship and additionally set a program record of 28 straight dual match wins. What do you believe sets this year's team apart? I mean, I think we just have a lot of, we have a lot of different personalities on this team. Um, I say it all the time, like the chemistry that we have, we're all big one, we're all one big family here really. And I think this year, um, just everyone brings something different to the team. And I think that's just been so exciting to figure out as, as we go through this season and we all the traveling and everything and the memories we make, we're just continually learning new things about each other. Um, and we're just, we're just having so much fun. And you mentioned the records and I don't even know like a lot of the stats and it's just, it's crazy to hear because we're just really going out there competing and enjoying being around each other. So it's, it's fun. To it's fun to see. Your team has already defeated the number two, number three, number four, and number five teams this year. What does that feel like? How do you take that confidence into the later part of the season? And what does that do for you before you begin a match? Um, I think it is, it is um, a big confidence booster, I think. Um, but it's more, obviously, it's how, you, it's how you end it. It's not how you finish the season. And I think it was just, we're just trying to get it's the best competition that we can get before we go into uh, postseason play. So it's definitely, um, it's great competition. And we're very uh, lucky to get those matches with how tough the ACC conference is. So I think it's just good preparation going into um, postseason. Your team also began 2021 as the number one ranked team in the country this season. I mentioned some of your impressive wins. You guys have sustained that number one ranking all year. So what drives your team to continue to get better and continue to compete to stay at that number one spot? Um, I think we know from the past is just there's a target on your back, you know, when you're when you're at the um, higher position. And, and a lot of the teams, you know, we play are going to bring out their best and we want it to bring out our best in us as well. So coach does a great job before, no matter who we play um, and what their ranking is, is knowing that we're going to get their best shot and to try to make each match, try to get ourselves better. Uh, so I think going in with that mentality and just giving credit to the other team and not going in, you know, thinking that, okay, we're supposed to win, but we still need to work for it and we still need to earn it. So I think we have a great mentality um, going into each match, even with our um, number one ranking. Thank you so much for joining me, Sarah. Best of luck with the rest of the season.